Hey, what's up? This is MarketAlchemist.camp, where we learn Elixir and Phoenix by building things. Today we're going to check out the new Elixir version 1.9 releases. These releases don't entirely replace the releases we've been building with Distillery. They don't do hot upgrades, for example, but they're built right into the language, and it's probably something that will become more and more popular as time goes by. There are a few changes, so let's have a look at how things work now. First thing is note that my version of Elixir is 1.9.1, and I'm using OTP21. Uh, you can see I've got a number of languages here listed. That's because I use a tool called ASDF to manage my language versions. If you want to know how to do that, you can check out an earlier screencast that I made on ASDF itself. For now, just make sure you've got the same version of Elixir and also have Phoenix version 1.49 so that we don't uh, run into any confusion over different versions. First, we'll make a new Phoenix project. We we'll mix phoenix.new and we'll call it YOLO. And this will take a moment to install the dependencies, so I'll pause the recording. All right, everything's installed. Let's have a look at the folders now. So. We've still got a config directory, and it actually still has the same files it always has. Fig looks about the same, so does dev.exs, so does test.exs. Prod is slightly different, but not much, and it still imports prod.secret.exs. This file is a bit different. It's now explicitly telling us that we should probably be using environment variables, and not only that, if we don't have environment variables set for database URL and secret key base, it raises an exception telling us to create them. If you followed some of my previous projects, you may realize that's a fair amount different from uh, how we used to just include them in a block in, in a very similar way as in dev.exs and test.exs. One other change here is we have a choice to uncomment this line and create Elixir mix releases. And that's what we're going to do. However, uh, part of this will also entail renaming this, this file into something else, into releases.exs. And then instead of using mix config, we'll import config from Elixir itself, since it's now built into Elixir after version 1.9. There are a few things we want to keep in mind before we do that. Once we've changed this from mix config file, we're no longer going to have this available. We're not going to have a database URL or a secret key base or any of that set at all when our mix environment is prod. And that's because we're not going to be able to import a config file that has been renamed and is, is now a different kind of config file. So the first thing we're going to do is just use the settings here as they are and create a database with mix. And we'll cd into the newly created directory for our project. Then we'll set those environment variables in prod.exs. First one is going to be the database URL, which I've already set here in my notes. The pattern is pretty simple. It's just ecto colon slash slash. Postgres is the name of my database user and the password for that user, then at whatever host you're on, localhost here, since we're just trying it out locally, and then the name of the database. The app name is YOLO, so the database, the default name for the database in prod is YOLO underscore prod. I exported that. The next thing we need is a secret key base. So we'll get a secret first, mix, uh, let's see, mix phoenix.gen.secret. That gives us a nice secret we can use for our secret key base. Export secret underscore key underscore base equals whatever you just generated on your machine. Then finally, with those environment variables set, we'll run mix underscore env equals prod. Just passing this in the command line as an option because we don't actually always want to run uh, with the environment prod locally. We'll run mix ecto.setup, which is a combination of ecto.create to create the database and ecto.migrate, 
which runs all of our migrations. Okay, so we don't have a static manifest, that's okay for now. Uh, next step, now that we've got a database set up, is we're going to remove this import prod.secret.exs from our prod.exs. We're going to go to prod.secret.exs, change use mix config to import config. So we're using Elixir's built in config instead of mix.config. We're going to uncomment this line at the bottom. So now we're going to use Elixir mix releases. And it looks like I did a double save, so Visual Studio Code is going to be annoying. All right, there we go. And finally, we need to make a build script. And build script is going to go at the base of the app. And let's call this build.sh. Now I've also got a note here for everything that I'm going to put in the build script. We'll run this with user bin env bash and mix depths dot get only prod so this will get the elixir dependencies mix env equals prod like we just did from the command line mix compile to compile all of our elixir stuff next step will be javascript and assets more generally so npm install prefix that slash assets in a Phoenix app, all of your assets are built from whatever is in the assets directory, and the output of that build process will go to your priv slash static directory. npm run deploy prefix assets and then mix phoenix digest, and that's the step that'll actually do that compilation I mentioned uh, using Webpack if you're in Phoenix 1.4 or later, and add uh, cache busting extensions to your static assets and so forth. And finally, we'll clean everything up from the Elixir side of the build. So rmrf the underscore build directory and mix env equals prod mix release. This is the new mix command from Elixir 1.9. This is the point of this entire episode. So save that and should be able to just run this directly. I believe I've got all the necessary environment variables set. Database URL, secret key base. Yeah, it looks good. So, oh, got to chmod it. Make sure that it's executable. Okay, now we'll run our build. Okay, looks like everything is built correctly, but it's not because I forgot to rename this file. It should be releases.exs. And let me just check prod.exs as well, mix config. Oh yeah, we're not on example.com. We're on whatever the host name is, or we're on localhost port 80, so we'll just Copy this over, and the rest looks good there. Import config. Okay, we'll, we'll give this another shot. All right, we have rebuilt the release with the releases file called that, which is what the docs say it should be if we're uh, making mixed releases. You can see we've got the standard uh, the standard output here. It's it's uh, under underscore build slash prod slash rel slash name of your app slash bin slash name of your app. And this is executable. So you can give it an argument like start or stop or restart or remote or remote console to execute whatever command you wanted to. Or you can just actually, we will do this. We'll just copy this here and we can see a whole bunch of commands. Now we're going to try starting the server. And it looks like it is running at port 4000. Let's give this a shot. Localhost 4000. And there we go. We have a Phoenix app with Ecto and we're building Elixir 1.9 mix releases. Uh, we've got it set up locally, but 
really all we need to do to deploy elsewhere would be uh, just change these system environment variables to whatever that particular host requires. So next episode, I'm going to show you how to deploy this app to a relatively new host that I discovered on Indie Hackers. They've been putting in some effort to be very accessible for Elixir users. They have pretty good documentation. And I bet that will be a shorter video than this one was. Till next time, vote on.